Okay, in the last episode, we set up a, um, a we're going to import in all the customers, basically. That's from over here. Uh, you hit a button. You want to import all their customers to your system. In this case, I got a blank slate of customers. You're going to need to match them up, most likely, to your existing customers. I'm going to speak specifically on what you need to do for customers or vendors or employees or whatever. Um, but let's chunk this one down to just talking about an iterator request, which is what goes on here. And an iterator request is really just a way to chunk a query. I had mentioned in a, in a previous video that you can't just send out and go get 10,000 uh, or ask for 10,000. You could ask for all of the customers, but if they have like 10,000, that might fail or that would fail maybe because there's a two minute limit to each request. So what is recommended that you do is you do um, perhaps 10 or 25 at a time because each request will be well under two minutes. And uh, so queue runs can go a long time. Uh, individual requests and responses can only go two minutes. So that's why you need to use iterators. And um, so what happened here, it went to the, the SDK, uh, excuse me, the queue. And uh, I don't like this view. So we're gonna use this view here. It's just more compact. And I'm calling it this action query. This is nothing specific to the QuickBooks Web Connector. This is like internal thing. So I know how to construct the, the query requests. There's also a handler. This is another thing, part of the library. I can directly determine how I want the query handled. And um, other things don't have you can see add or modify customer. These don't, this is specific for a query, so the query action. But let's just see what I'm doing over there. Hopefully it makes some sense. Okay, so now again, I've made this, wanna make these methods small. You wanna do that too, just so you have some sanity when looking at the main send request. And uh, so over here is where I'm doing in this directory the send XML. And it, this is in Ruby, this is a class. I'm making a new instance of a class just to, to abstract everything over there. And um, let's take a look at what it does. So first, yeah, I just take the current job. I explained in the last video what the current job is exactly. That is the current queue run you are on. There could be multiple ones, so you need to loop through them. I went over that there. I'm not going to talk about this. This is going to be important, but um, you, you we're determining what kind of request this is. Um, what we're doing is we're making QBXML to send over the web connector to ask. In this case, we're going to make a, a query XML request. And as... Uh, I don't have it open. I have it open here, don't I? Okay, here's the OCR. Remember, I talked about this early on. This, um, what, what we're going to do in this case is we're going to be making a customer, um, customer, customer query. I, b I believe. I guess there's multiple ones there. You can see the you can see the SDK is pretty powerful. I'm on. Oh, I need to be on QBXML here. Um, they're very similar, but um, you see how many things you can do with uh, this, this SDK. It is very powerful and very mature. It's very unlikely that it won't be able to handle what needs you have. But anyway, I'm gonna be doing a customer query request. Okay, it's gonna look like this. Um, this is the XML version. This is sort of like a, a friendlier version. You can get information on what exactly you need to, what exactly you put in there. It's gonna look like this. Um, Okay, so this is what we're constructing. This is why it says make over here. We're being asked, we need to send a request over, an XML request over, okay? And we need to make it. Um, this is not, hits this condition. I'll have to go to that condition later. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna generate the QB XML. 
Remember, the current job is the queue. So the queue is a model over here. All right, so this is a method off of this model. So I need to go, oops. I need to go back to this model to find this method. And uh, what was it called again? Generate QBXML. And for this, I uh, go into, hopefully this is, uh, it's gonna get into a little bit of thing, uh, things specific to Ruby. But um, the, the action is what this thing is. All right, so in Ruby, what you can do is just dynamically send a method. Like this is just a string, right? Query, but it's also a um, a a method on this <clears throat> model. Okay, so what is the model? Let's. I gotta get in. I, this this is. Uh, I wish it was a little more. Um, Self-explanatory. I mean, I'm going to cut the video right here just so I can set up the things to explain this better.